you can instantly see that this is a gastrointestinal organ. Here is a nice mucosa. Here is a muscularis mucosa. Here is a very nice loose vascular submucosa. And here is a very, very much thickened uh, wall or muscularis of the organ in which there's at least two different directions of fibers. It's a very thick wall and uh, it doesn't take uh, a long amount of time to look at the mucosa a little bit better to realize that this is stomach. Notice uh, that the uh, lamina propria and even parts of the muscularis mucosa here, here have uh, little stippled infiltrates of these uh, inflammatory cells more than it should be. Also, I think you might notice, and you're going to have to take this a little bit on faith, is that the uh, amount of uh, a glandular differentiation within this mucosa is a little stifled compared to normal. Perhaps it looks almost normal here. Perhaps here there looks like there's a little blunting of the superficial mucosa. This is uh, not only inflammation or gastritis, but there's some atrophy associated with it. This is atrophic gastritis. Well, if this was uh, the part of the stomach that made intrinsic factor, you would expect that there would be decreased production of intrinsic factor as well. So people with atrophic gastritis fr frequently got megaloblastic or pernicious anemias. Uh, no matter what the causes are of chronic or chronic atrophic gastritis, statistically, they are associated with a higher incidence of gastric carcinomas, although the mucosa here by itself is well differentiated and in no way appears dysplastic or malignant. This is a nice orderly array of a gastric uh, glands, gastric pits, and I think you can see that this is uh, just a little bit on the atrophic side, and there's a little more of an increase in these lamina propria inflammatory cells that there should be. Uh, stomach atrophic gastritis.